They don't for the reason that Hillary Clinton was asked about. There are no jobs in this country now, high level or low level for people. Why are you going to bring more people in? They don't want it because the border is not secure and the law is not being followed. They don't want it because Obama has been encouraging in the minds of many, letting these kids be dumped here by their parents with the promise of, of freedom and a great life. And now they're in, in these, these camps. Um, Republicans, voters don't want this. That's why it won't be done. Well, here, here's what the, you have to bear in mind here. It really doesn't matter. Everything you've just said about what Republican voters want, as far as politicians are concerned, you have to take that with a grain of salt because what politicians run on, the fuel that drives them is money. We know that. Democrats and Republicans alike. Republicans get their money not from the folks you mentioned, the base, the Tea Party folks, the activists. Those folks like to carry signs, but they don't like to write checks. The people who write checks are at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. And so the Republican dilemma is they need uh, for an average House seat, five to ten to twenty million dollars uh, to run. Uh, they need fifty million dollars to win a Senate seat. They need uh, fast money of five hundred million dollars to run for president. You don't get that money from the Tea Party. You get that money from U.S. Chamber of Commerce business interests. That's why. That's why this remains a dilemma for Republicans. Because if they go the way of just going after that nativist wing that you talked about, swell, they don't contribute money. That's not going to get you very far. Now, to be fair. The Democrats are also in a predicament because they need money. And you and I have spoken about this before. They get their money from unions, right? Unions who want to close the border. And they don't want it. And no. they, yeah, you're right. And they give lip service to Latinos. But Latinos, like nativists, members of the Tea Party, they don't give money either. So the real trick well, for well, I don't know. I don't like this. I don't like oh. this nativist uh, stuff. I mean, I, you know, nativist has implications like we discussed earlier with, with oh. Richard Pearl, uh, what, what neocon has implications too. Uh, I don't like nativists. I just think people could be well, good yeah, Americans. Like could, could, for a long time. People have since Benjamin Franklin. Yeah, but nativist, n n nativist to me implies uh, is xenophobic, uh, you know, uh, uh, in, in some Democrats. sense. And I just think that you well, know, I just think that the country is in such a position today that, um, you know, uh, we, we can't afford to, to welcome everybody into this country anymore. That's, um, that's fine. But, so, don't be afraid of the word, Steve. It's been around since the 1700s. Benjamin Franklin used it against the Germans. It's been a tra tradition in this country. We always welcome people in with, there goes the neighborhood. It's, it's a part of our American fabric. Nativism was alive and well then, and it's alive and well now. Well, it doesn't define the well, entire but you're, 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 you're But you're tagging, but you're tagging, Republicans with it and Tea Partiers, you didn't call the union members nativists, did you? Yeah, and they are. Many of them are. I can't, I, there's no argument for me on that. I, I hear from them all the time. I hear from people who are Democrats, from union members in Rust Belt states like Michigan and Ohio, and they use racist and nativist language. So I agree with you there.